What is going on, guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk about update 4.0.1 for Battlefield 2042. This is some quality of life improvement since the launch of Season 4. I will have the patch notes down in the description if you'd like to read over them for yourself. AI soldiers should now correctly spawn during the prologue stages of Battlefield 2042. They've resolved some audio issues, uh, especially with the new X6 infiltration device. Once players were not around that anymore, they were still hearing that scrambled kind of sound that should be fixed. They've also done an audio pass on the X6 uh, device uh, aimed at addressing audio overload where players place multiple devices in a small uh, kind of area or section that reduced the rate of which the X6 infiltration device registers audio pings and they added more nuance to the noise emitted from the device itself. Uh, for gadgets, they resolved an issue that resulted in oversized crosshairs after you placed a Claymore. Uh, Claymore sensors should no longer trigger through walls. They reduce the amount of healing per second. The repair tool replenishes by 15%. Uh, the tracer dart will now last 16 seconds up from 12 seconds. They fixed some uh, UI indicator issues with when you were hitting some gadgets with the tracer dart. They also fixed an issue where drivers and vehicles would sometime not get the warning in the HUD about incoming missiles if it was a tracer dart on their vehicle. Also, they fixed an issue where the tracer dart would sometimes fail to uh, designate moving targets. Resolved an issue that resulted in the so flam targets on neutral vehicles being shared across both teams. And it should now be possible to place the insertion beacon of Blasco's in smoke. Uh, they fixed an issue that caused Blasco to be hidden from the minimap when firing an unsuppressed weapon. Uh, also, they updated Blasco's tutorial video within the co uh, collection screen. Cra uh, Crawford got some changes as well. They reduced the effectiveness of Crawford's critical repair trait from 100% bonus repair amount to 40%. Irish's APS-36 shoot-down sentinels are no longer intercept C5. Liz's G8 uh, four missile now correctly detonates when impacting Dozer's ballistic shield and they re resolved a field of view issue for some of Rayo's cosmetics. For all soldiers in the game, they were uh, lowered the soldier health regen delay from 7.5 to 6.5 and increased the soldier health regen from 5 HP to 7.5 HP and they increased the health regeneration rate post revive from 5 HP to 7.5 HP to match the new regen values uh, in the game. Also, they removed the re uh, remaining aim down sight deploy adjustment for the extended mags. So, that right now was a thing that a lot of people are running was extended mags. I still don't think it's going to really change a lot when it comes to extended mags, but uh, there has been some adjustments to that. There's been a lot of people talking about will extended mags be as useful if you know some of the aim down sight stuff is kind of tweaked we'll kind of have to wait and see once the update goes live also they increase the amount of bullets required for a kill with medium ammo between a distance of 50 to 75 meters from six to seven for the ac9 and they also increase the amount of bullets required for a kill with subsonic ammo for distances beyond 40 meters by one that ac9 is pretty strong i think we'll probably see another tweak to it eventually we'll kind of have to wait and see if this is going to be enough to, uh, of a change or enough of a nerf to really affect how good that gun performs. Also, the new LMG, the RPT-31, they reduced the amount of bullets required for a kill with heavy ammo under 30 meter distance from 5 to 4. The M39 EMR, they reduced the headshot multiplier from 2 to 1.6. And the SVD, they reduced the head, uh, headshot multiplier from 2 to 1.6. And they resolved an issue with the CAV brawler not correctly spawning in with the tier one and water wheel vehicle uh, cosmetics. That is pretty much it for the update. Like I said, a lot of quality of life changes, a lot of bug fixes, a little small things that kind of have been issues since season four was released. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you've been playing season four of Battlefield 2042. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.